Brothers, born in Genosar, both are amateur archaeologists. We had dreams that one day we'd find a treasure in the Sea of Galilee. I told Moshe that one day the Sea of Galilee will give us a gift. You'll see. It'll give us a gift. And that day has come true. While walking on the seashore after a drought year, they found an old nail. An ancient nail, then another. We cleaned it a bit, we discovered wood. We looked again and realized it's a boat. We moved along the wood, it was almost a 10 meter long boat. We felt we found a great discovery at an international level. Among the experts invited were marine archaeologist Shelley Waxman and his assistant Kurt. We knew immediately this is an ancient boat. We didn't know how old it was. We knew that it was ancient. They touched it with a chisel once, and you saw two dancers up in the air. Yeah, we did a little dance, and uh, we're very excited. A crazy race against time and odds started. As soon as we started excavating it, we, we were in a sense destroying it. We were opening it up to the air, and the air was its enemy. Can we show that? My first job as a conservator was to make sure the wood didn't dry out. It's waterlogged wood. The minute it dries out, it turns to powder. We had to use sprinklers, and people had to spray water on it all day long. A lining was built for shade. The digging around such an ancient and big object required special care. While we were digging, it became clear that we couldn't use tools near the wood. We had to use our bare hands, as the wood was so soft and spongy, our fingers just went right through it. Then it was time to decide how to move the boat. Experts from the port of Haifa arrived, engineers. We went to the Air Force, the Navy, the, the port authorities, the airplane, the LF. The Air Force offered us a helicopter. At the end, it was Orna who came up with the idea of how to actually uh, move the boat. The solution found was to fill up and wrap the boat with polyurethane of fast-drying plastic foam. That's how we filled it up from the inside, but how do you fill it up from below? It's filled with mud, and if you remove the sand, it will fall over. We solved that by digging channels the width of a person underneath the boat. After digging the channels under the boat, they were filled with foam. You spray the polyurethane and it expands and settles, and another channel can be made right away. At the end, the entire boat was covered with polyurethane, and yet it was still not clear how to move it to dry land. The most logical thing to do was to simply sail it on the Sea of Galilee, and then lift it out with a crane and place it on land. We brought out a steam shovel. We dug a channel from the pit to the water, and we sailed the boat out for the first time in 2,000 years. It was sailing on the waters of the Sea of Galilee. And then the boat slowly began to come up. Everyone was so excited they had tears in their eyes. To sail on a 2,000 year old boat is simply incredible. The following day, when the crane came to pull it out of the water, there was one very dangerous moment. One wrong move, and it could just disintegrate. The crane lifted the boat and placed it on the shore, and then we could breathe again. We understood that we'd done the first step. We'd completed something.